Um, hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the second um, uh, evening in the series of Rijks Academy uh, Live. Um, it's nice to see that there are so many uh, uh, visitors here. We have a very small uh, space, as you can see. The big space that we usually uh, do this kind of uh, events is uh, occupied because of the selection of uh, artists for the Rijks Academy residency next year, 2012. Um, welcome. Um, uh, this is the second uh, evening in Rex Academy Live, a series of um, uh, that we started in the beginning of this year, a series of uh, public events uh, that are content-wise related to subjects that uh, <coughs> artists that are in the Rex Academy or have been in the Rex Academy are related to. They are connected to uh, what's going on here in the in the Rex Academy, and often also the. Um, speakers or the performers uh, who are invited are related to the Rijks Academy. Uh, I'll keep it very short. Um, um, I'll give the word to uh, Philippe Pirot, who is the moderator of tonight. He's also the curator of the, the whole series of Rijks Academy Live. He's a curator himself and he is the um, uh, director of the Kunsthalle Bern in Switzerland. Um, before we start, a few practical uh, remarks. Uh, please turn off your phone. Um, uh, it will <laughs> probably last about one and a half hour and after that there will be drinks for everyone available in the new canteen which is uh, on the ground floor on the back side of the building but just follow us and you'll, you'll find the place. Okay, have a nice evening. Philippe. Thank you, Martijntje. Everybody can hear this? It's a small room. Um, welcome uh, artists, friends of the Rijks Academy um, in this very well heated up place. <laughs> um, where are the artists was uh, for me a very productive sentence, a, a very interesting sentence that was, um, it's a general sentence, but it was written in a very specific occasion by Daniel Buren um, as a reaction on another text he wrote before in reaction to a situation that occurred at Documenta 5 in 1972, curated by the late Harald Zeman. Where are the artists? Um, for me, it's also a political question. It's a question about why do artists withdraw from large-scale exhibitions and what are their motivations? Um, secondly, the question could also turn into the ID of the artist curator, um, the artist organizing or the artists organizing their own conditions of visibility. Um, so this talk is going to tackle different subjects with a lot of artists in the panel um, related to uh, conflicts in the overlaps between the artist and the curator uh, happening during the organization, the preparation and the execution of large scale exhibitions. I'm first going to introduce the panel. On my far left, uh, we have Moshe Kwalanga, artist from South Africa, resident in Amsterdam, um, having participated in numerous biennials, which we are not going to list, um, having very specific experiences, uh, lived through very specific experiences during numerous biennials. And recently, we had the fantastic occasion to collaborate uh, for a solo show at Kunsthalle Bern in Switzerland. Um, next to Moshekwa, Tanya Bruguera. Tanya Bruguera is an advisor at Rijks Academy recently, um, and she's uh, a, an artist based in Cuba and Paris. And, and now not it's anymore. Is corona. It's, uh, it's, it's complicated. It's complicated. Well, <laughs> we can <laughs> go into details there. Um, Tanya <coughs> initiated wonderful and fascinating projects like the Cadredra Arte de Conducta, an alternative art school for useful art, and we're gonna talk about this idea, what is useful art. And recently, uh, she initi co-initiated the Immigrant Movement International, uh, which opened, I think, two days ago in New oh, York. We had a big event two days ago. Yes, so um, I hope you're not too jet-lagged and that no, no, uh, <laughs> we can talk about <laughs> this. Um, then directly next to me on my left is Pavel Buchler, an artist uh, from originally from Czechoslovakia, now living in Manchester, having been a uh, professor at the uh, Glasgow School of Arts and then later on in the Manchester University. Um, participated in some biennials, but also co-curated uh, important exhibitions like what happened to social democracy in the Roseim mm. in Malmo together with Charles Eschi, and had other occasions to curate exhibitions, but also to 
uh, participated in artist curated exhibitions and we'll probably talk about uh, this experience. Um, on my right, directly Elena Filipovich, the only, together with me, non-artist in the panel, uh, a curator, um, independent curator and uh, based in Berlin, but now also uh, curator at Wheels, not anymore associated, but curator at Wheels, um, where she uh, organized uh, a show now uh, called The Other Tradition, but also initiated this wonderful Felix Gonzalez Torres retrospective in which uh, she advanced this wonderful concept to make the show change halfway um, and invite an artist to recurate the show or reinstall the show. Um, the Felix Gonzalez Torres retrospective went to Basel, to the Bayler Foundation, and is now in the Museum of Modern Art in Frankfurt, and it's the last leg of the show. She also co-curated the uh, Berlin Biennial in 2008 with Adam Shimshik, and um, she will probably talk most about this experience of collaborating with artists and curating shows, or the artist curator, um, that comes later, that was, is also lingering in Marcel Duchamp. Um, mm -hmm. So that promises to be very interesting. Rosella Biscotti is an actual resident at Rijks Academy, um, she recently won this prestigious Maxi Prize with uh, a fantastic installation uh, based on the trials, the court situation in Italy, uh, where people were put on trial, in fact, for publishing certain books. In fact, for publishing, no, not certain books, but having certain texts in books published and that uh, kind of like weird situation, this perverse situation that you can put on trial for like just formulating ideas. Recently, uh, Rosella Biscotti withdrew from the Padiglione Italia, the Italian pavilion uh, at the Venice, ba <coughs> Venice Biennial, I'm sorry, um, which is not the general show as we know it because yeah. it's also called Italian Pavilion, yeah. but it is the show of Italian artists and uh, Rosella withdrew for political reasons um, and that's what we're going to talk most about uh, very soon. I just want to <coughs> give a very general introduction. The debate had kind of an excuse starting with this text by Daniel Buren. Uh, where are the artists? The first text was called Exhibi Exhibitions of Exhibition of Exhibitions, which was published and also Where Are the Arts was pub or republished in a book Elena co-edited, The Biennial Reader. It was the first text was originally published um, during the Documenta 5 of Harald Zeman as a reaction on something that was very new then, a kind of uber curator that took on uh, too much of the role of an artist in the eyes or in the opinion of Daniel Buren and many others. And that's also, oh, the image disappeared. Uh, <laughs> we have this very wonderful image that we don't have permission for to make public. It's an art forum ad. Um, and there was a very nice little ad of the, yeah, um, Artist Workers Coalition, um, in which they kind of, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> in which they yeah, kind of put a statement <laughs> why they were not wanting to succumb to uh, bigger curatorial narratives, um, and <laughs> where they were. <coughs> well, I'll describe it. <laughs> so it's a very beautiful picture. Obviously, you don't have the permission <laughs> exactly. to load the screen, yeah. Self evident. It's a very beautiful uh, art forum page, and like we all art for, love art forum for their ads. Um, the, one of the very beautiful ideological insert is uh, this oh. ad on the left, the undersigned, uh, affirmed the following points. The following points prompted primarily in response to Documenta 5, but pertaining to all exhibition conditions. It is, I'm not going to read it completely, but it's a statement uh, signed, amongst others, by Robert Morris, Cal Andre, Donald Judd, and Fred Sandbach, nowadays not of the least. It's very uh, Im important uh, figures in <coughs> recent art history that withdrew from Documenta 5, although they had a respect for Mr. Zeman, like Buren um, voiced it in his text, that Zeman was not the worst of the curators, was rather the most talented, but still they uh, found it very necessary to withdraw from Documenta 5 because Documenta 5 was uh, imposing limits on the artists, supposed limits, that's what they felt, uh, on the interpretation of their work because Documenta 5 used 
uh, art as raw material next to other uh, things like documents, experiences, uh, testimonies, etc., popular art, uh, graphic design, and that documenta was hailed for opening uh, the art realm to all these other practices, and some of the artists could not cope with that or could not go along with that idea or with that kind of context um, to uh, put their art on display. Buren, in this text, Where Are the Artists?, which was then written for an efflux uh, project, which was called The Next Document That Should Be Curated by an Artist in 2004, advances the idea that it would be very, very interesting indeed to let uh, big exhibitions or like group exhibitions curated by artists because they would, uh, on the one hand, uh, deal in a more interesting way with the production of other artists, and on the other hand, they would provoke more dramatic, um, how do you say it, collisions in discussions and also in display between uh, bodies of work of different artists. Um, that's Buren's standpoint in 2004, and to conclude that, um, for the same project, I, I want to read a little anecdote, which was the statement of Lawrence Wiener, who could not be here tonight because he was also invited, and he said, the next documenta should be curated by an artist and the next omelette should be baken by a carpenter. <laughs> the purpose of art is to question the material relationships in the world in relation to human beings. The purpose of curating is to agglomerate those questions in effect to present them. Why should an artist curate the next whatever show whenever? And then you have a lot of excess, which we interpret as kisses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not from Lawrence. <laughs> Not from Lawrence. <laughs> it's very mysterious. Anyway, then there is another last text before we really start the discussion is Robert Smithson's Cultural Confinement. Uh, this text was written in the catalog of Documenta 5 in 1972 and related a lot to the Artist Workers Coalition standpoints. And he said that uh, it was very difficult for artists or not acceptable for artists to be expected to fit into fraudulent categories imposed by curators. So he's criticizing the curator, imposing limits to an art exhibition rather than asking artists to set their limits. I interpreted then the where are the artists also politically. And in that nature, I would like to start a discussion with uh, Rosella. Where are the artists implies a political <laughs> suggestion. It implies the suggestion, what responsibility do artists have towards the places their art is shown in and from whom they receive funds? Could cultural boycotts in fact contribute to the moral and political isolation of corrupt states um, or change those states or do something within the lingering authoritarian regimes in certain states? And um, this I got rather from uh, dictatorial situations, but you are Italian and working <laughs> in Italy. Um, and I would like to ask you first, what exactly did you do? Where, where yeah. did 